Hey guys, today we'll be talking about our new Wax It Enthusiast Polishing Kit, which is perfect for anyone who is looking to get into machine polishing. A lot of people think that whenever we introduce a machine to polish your paintwork, it's very difficult and there's always a chance you could damage your paint. With this in mind, a lot of car enthusiasts just stick to hand polishing or using their favourite wax. Although this can give you a great result, the only way to truly unlock crazy levels of gloss and completely enhance the paintwork is through machine polishing. All the products in our kit have been hand selected to make the polishing process extremely safe and effective. We're going to show you just how easily you can remove scratches, restore clarity in the paintwork and achieve that ultimate showroom shine, making your car look even better than new. Before we can get started with machine polishing, we have to make sure the vehicle has been properly washed and a basic decontamination process has been completed. This will make the whole polishing process a lot easier and will give us much better results. The machine we'll be using is the Shimate EX605 12mm dual action polisher. Moving away from traditional rotaries, DA machines are much safer as less heat is being produced on the surface of the paint. Alongside our EX605, we will be using three different Shimate polishing pads featuring cutting, intermediate and finishing levels. These diamond pads are perfectly balanced to the Shimate machine, run beautifully smooth and are easy to control. Similar to our pads, we are also utilising three different professional grade German paint compounds that are very versatile, produce little dust and are super easy to use. Now that we know what's in our kit, we need to figure out which products to use and how to use our machine polisher. It's always best to start our machine polishing process by setting up some test sections so we can visibly see what the best combination will be. Even though a heavy cutting process removes an extremely small amount of paint, it's always best to use the least aggressive means when possible. Let's start by grabbing our finishing compound Shoal Concepts S30 Plus and pair it with our red Shimate Diamond finishing pad and see what this does. To start, we want to work in a relatively small area, approximately a 50 by 50 centimetre size. It is important to make sure the pad is nicely centred onto the backing plate to ensure a smooth polishing experience. When you first use a brand new or clean polishing pad, use four to five pea sized drops of compound to prime the pad. After this, you will only need about three pea sized drops of compound going forward. Now before turning the machine on, we're just going to spread the compound around our working area to ensure it doesn't splatter, whilst ensuring our polishing process is more consistent with an even distribution. We set our machine to speed 2 to spread the compound around, then we'll slow down our arm speed and begin our polishing process on speed 5 with light pressure. The red pad is a great way for us to show you the best pressure to use, as you can easily see the flex in the pad. With just the machine's weight, you can see that the pad does not flex at all. This is too little pressure and won't give us the results that we're after. However, if we use too much pressure on the pad, it's not going to spin properly. So the correct amount of pressure is just using the machine's weight with a little bit more pressure on top. We want to work the compound in until it breaks down. Usually this takes four to five polishing passes. When performing these passes on a flat panel, we usually alternate between horizontal and then vertical movements. On sections that aren't flat, you want to try and polish with the contours and the curves, but we will go over this later on in the video. We're just going to wipe off the leftover polishing residue with a microfiber cloth and inspect our results. This 2007 Mercedes has never been polished and has some serious water spots and paint defects all over the car. With little surprise, S30 Plus, which is the finishing compound, hasn't really removed much on this car. It has managed to remove some of the water spots, but a lot of the swirls and scratches still remain. The next combo we're going to use is our Shoal S20 Black with our blue Shimate Diamond Pad. This product is notorious for being one of the best one-step compounds on the market as it removes most defects with ease as well as producing a high gloss finish. We believe on most cars this will be the go-to combination for a lot of car enthusiasts who feel their paint is in reasonable condition. We can see that S20 has definitely removed a lot more defects than the section with S30+. Plus. But perhaps what is most surprising is that this step has produced a darker, more saturated look compared to the finishing compound. Many people who polish their car by hand think that using the finest polish will always yield the glossiest result. We can see that in this case, our finishing compound didn't produce the gloss that we were after. What many people don't understand is that machine polishing is not just about restoring the paintwork, it's about increasing its gloss and clarity even beyond its first day in the showroom floor. 
Let's step up to our S2 black compound with our Firma Shimat Yellow Diamond Pad and see if we can get some even better results. We can clearly see that the S2 black has worked beautifully on this paint. Not only has it removed 95% of the paint's defects, it has finished down with a very haze-free finish. This is very uncharacteristic for a cutting compound and it really shows just how versatile these shoal compounds really are. Paints are often harder or softer in nature. Hard paints usually require more abrasive compounds to remove paint defects and softer paints require less. It's clear from these polishing tests that the Mercedes paint is on the harder side, which is why we needed something more abrasive like S2 Black to get the results that we were after. It's always so important to complete these test sections starting from the least abrasive combination to find what works for you and your paintwork. We're really happy with this result. S2 Black has removed almost every defect in the paintwork and has created a fantastic finish. Now that we have found our best starting combo, it's time to get going on the rest of the car and totally transform this vehicle. Before we get started, we want to make sure that we have taped up the rest of the car. We mainly just want to be cautious and cover up any sensitive surfaces we don't want to polish, such as plastics, trims, badges and edges. Now we can start to tackle our vehicle. But unfortunately, every panel is usually not flat like the bonnet we have worked on. We need to understand how to tackle curved and intricate surfaces. Simply put, we want to follow the contours of these curved surfaces, not just sticking with traditional vertical and horizontal passes. It may be tricky at first to keep the pad flat throughout these sections, but unlike traditional rotary machines that may produce excessive heat, the DA machine will simply stop spinning if the pad isn't flat. So nothing to worry about here. This is what makes the DA polishes super safe to use. We may just need to go over the area again. Practice makes perfect and we even put a little black line on our backing plate to show us when the pad stops spinning so we can continuously improve our technique. One other thing we haven't really touched on is pad cleaning and maintenance. You may be wondering why there are six pads in our kit instead of three. If we stick to just one type of pad for the car, rarely brush it and don't really clean it, the pad will get clogged with compound, give you much worse results, and the pad won't last long. If we swap out our pads after each panel, brush them out when possible, and give them a good clean after a session of polishing, our pads will be very durable. Now the last thing we want to do is to check if going over the car with our finishing compound S30 Plus and the Red Shimmer pad is going to add any more gloss. We can see a little gloss improvement. It is still very surprising just how well S2 Black finished down on this car. We are super happy with how this car turned out. With just this enthusiast polishing kit, we have transformed this 15-year-old car which was in desperate need for some correction. And there you have it. Our Wax It Enthusiast Polishing Kit will give you everything you need to completely transform your car easily, safely and effectively. There are no set rules for polishing combinations and the true fun of detailing is figuring out what can make your car stand out from the rest.